Howdy guys, I'm back with more of the one week legacy race in Path of Exile and today I'm going to finish Merciless Act 4 and I'm about to go fight Kaom but before I do I want to show you guys what's going on. So I've hit level 78 after doing a few maps and stuff. I, uh, I have a few new item upgrades. I actually got the shield that I need, and look at that. Uh, the person I bought it from was actually pretty nice and let me have it for 22 chaos orbs. I didn't have quite enough, so I told him I only have 22. Can I, can, and he, he, he was, he was okay with letting it go at 22. So I've got a shiny, I'm like a, the only thing about it is it gives you the 5% reduced movement speed, so I'm just like this slow rolling tank. Uh, still using my bringer of rain. I have had no luck with the new weapon, so I'm still using this mess. Um, just this, my rings aren't the best, especially because they have like energy shield and stuff. I've had a hard time with my rings, but uh, I got some uh, a good new belt here. The only bad thing about it, of course, is the life and the energy shield, but the three resistances are pretty nice, so that's what I've, I've finally managed to fix my resistances. I was having a lot of trouble with them. Um, with getting those all capped. And uh, these are my boots. I think these are some pretty damn swell boots. The only thing is the lightning resistance is a bit on the low side. If that had been a little bit higher, it'd be damn near perfect. So uh, that's what's going on with um, my gear and my stats. I've managed to fill this out with my passive points. So my builds finally come together. So let's take on Kaom and see how it goes. I uh, picked up Earthquake. I dropped one of my fiery support gems because one of you guys told me that Earthquake would be my best uh, single target DPS, so... I don't know if I should just have... I have it in my boots, I think. I'm not really sure if I want to risk making Sunder a little bit worse by putting it in my Bringer of Rain. I haven't really played with Earthquake a whole, whole lot, but um, I'm curious to see how this, these fights are going to go because I um, my single target DPS isn't great, and uh, my survivability is pretty awesome, but my single target DPS really, really sucks, so I feel like these fights are probably going to take a long time, especially because I'm pretty bad at the game too, but... Just be happy that you got a warrior's death, Kaum. Indeed. So Kaum is dead, so, so I don't need to spend any more time here. And let's go over to the Grand Arena, and then I'm going to go look for Duresso in here. I'm going to have to go through this place a little bit. But yeah, I've been so desperate for a Soul Taker that I've been hitting like Alt and seeing if any just white quality Siege Axes are dropping, and I've been using Orbs of Chance on them. I mean, I mean, um, you know, that's... Uh, I, I know that, that that's an insanely low chance of me, you know, getting the Soul Taker by using an Orb of Chance, but my, my gosh, it's spent. such an expensive weapon. Um, when I first got on this morning, I saw someone selling one for like 40 Chaos Orbs, and I, was, and I didn't have enough. I had like around 20 at the point, that point, so I was like, geez, I better get to grinding. So, you know, I was off farming, trying to do the Chaos Orb recipe, trying to just really pick up some different stuff. You know, so that I could afford it. I've got stuff for sale in my tabs. I was trying to sell things. And I don't know, I guess either everyone bought those soul takers or those people went offline because I couldn't find the 40 chaos orb. Oh my gosh, here we go. I couldn't find the 40 chaos orb soul taker people anymore. So the price crept up to 60 chaos orbs. And then, oops, I don't know what I'm doing. And then, um, and now there's someone that has one up for like four exalted orbs, and it's like, alright, so I don't think I'm going to be getting a soul taker until this character gets kicked back into the regular legacy league or whatever happens to it, because I really, unless I get insanely lucky, I'm not going to be able to afford that weapon. And 
It really sucked because I wish I could have, well, you know, I sh I've spent all my money on all these other uniques, or not money, currency, you guys know what I mean, but the thing is, I needed all these items anyway, uh, Soul Taker is literally the last thing I need uh, for this build as far as uniques go, that's all I need, just a Soul Taker and I'm golden, that's all I need. But uh, the Soul Taker is, of course, the biggest part of it, too. I probably, I don't know, looking back on it now, maybe I should have just saved up my currency and just uh, really saved up for the weapon instead of buying the helmet and the shield. But I don't really know. I mean, I like having that, especially the helmet. The helmet's made everything a lot easier. I may not necessarily have needed the shield just yet, but... You know, and I had a pretty good shield. I had like a three a shield with three different resistances. It was okay. It was okay. I mean, it wasn't, you know, perfect, but it was definitely okay. So it really sucks that I don't get to see this. Uh... A battle worthy of song. The way you fight reminds me of how it feels to be possessed with the idea of victory. All right, Durham's passion enough to claim a crown. A king of swords is nothing if he cannot defend his crown. Alright, Duressa, are you ready for this? I missed this. A grand duel between two duelists. How fun. Yeah, this this is uh, going pretty well. This build is awesome, even without the weapon. Ooh, ooh, I shouldn't be doing that. Even without the uh, weapon, which I would say is probably the most important part of this build. Um... The Soul Taker lets you cast melee abilities, uh, even if you don't have any mana, so I can run, like, one more aura, like I'm supposed to use, um, Arctic Armor, Arctic Armor, so I'm, I'm missing out a little bit as far as that stuff goes, but, you know, maybe I can, I mean, I'm, obviously I'm not really having, I didn't have any trouble with Kaom and Duress, so I thought would be a bit more of a challenge, and, oop, and this has been going just swimmingly, so I, I think I'm probably going to be okay finishing Act 4 with what I have, which was uh, my goal that I set out to do. So I'm pretty happy that I'm doing okay with this. Your glory will be remembered in song forever, Duresso. I promise you that. Okay, Mr. Duelist. Okay. All right. Let me um, let me check that out real quick. No, not really good. Okay. Let me let me unload this stuff. Oops, this stuff just real fast so that I can get back to it. There we go. All right, let's go see Miss Diala, and then I'm going to be finishing up Act 4. Oh, boy. You know, I, I, I'm I still worried about Malachi. I may not be able to do Malachi Deathless. I've only died 28 times. I feel like I've died a lot more than that, especially recently, when, now that I've moved on to Merciless. I've died 28 times. Let's see how many times I die to Malachi. Oh boy, but yeah, look, I'm, I'm actually getting through I'm this. Excited. I don't know if I'm going to be able to itself. defeat Malachi Deathless, but I think I am going to beat Malachi, which uh, that's... That was my personal goal when I set out to do this race. I'm recording this on Thursday, and like I said, I think the race ends uh, Saturday. Ooh, 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 what's, what's going on here? Wither. Oh, chaos damage. That sucks. Okay, wow. This, this, re okay, I gotta go get more flasks. Let me go kill some more stuff or charges, you know what I mean? Boy, that was that was really nasty. Need some, I need some chaos resistance now. Oh we. All right. Yes. Yeah, see, I'm, I've been trying to keep my eye out. Like I said, I'm keeping my eye out for siege axes so that I can uh, try to re-roll those or orb of chance those. Like I said, I know that's very very unlikely, but well, you don't you you know as the lotto says, you can't win if you don't play, right? <laughs> I know that's kind of a goofy mindset to have, but might as well try. Why not have some fun with it? Because I would love to have that weapon. But, um, you know, if I don't get it uh, before the race ends, like I said, I, I really see myself continuing to play this character. So I might just have to buy it on... Um, the regular Legacy League. Maybe I need to go see what the price is there and start farming up on my little Elementalist or something because this build is wonderful. Like, 
I, I don't know. I just, I know I, I've gushed about it so much already, but every single time I get like one of these like unique items that is part of it, it just, you know, I move a little bit slower because of the shield, but I swear I can just walk into everything and just not die. Alright, I think I met, was supposed to go talk to Diala. I just, I've been moseying along here. I think I did this last time. I get so eager to run through the belly of the beast, I forget to go and talk to the people that I'm supposed to talk to. Whoops. Alright, Diala. La 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 la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she gives me a map. That's nice of her. I think I will take a desert map. Thank you very much. No love for Diala. No love for Diala. Poor, poor Diala. Yeah, I've been doing, uh, I know that, what, what is it, you can keep grinding Dry Lake for a while, but, uh, it's so boring. I've been doing, I've been doing maps because they're a lot more fun, so I've been doing maps the better part of the day, trying to level up, get some better gear. I, I didn't want to face, uh, Malachi without getting at least, um, you know, like, kind of where I want to be with my gear. I wanted to make sure, like, all my resistances were capped and everything. And they finally are. It took me a really long time. They went from being capped to not capped because I changed my gear around to being capped again. So, I'm, like I said, I'm really ha- Like, there's definitely still some- I wonder if I should bother picking these up. Someone said that these leather belts sell for, like- Eight for a chaos orb or something. I'm not sure how true that is, but I don't, I don't think that sounds right. But maybe I should grab it in case. I don't think it's that ratio that anyone's gonna buy it by leather belts. But whatever. Oh man. Oh man. Did, did this thing go into it? Oh, okay. All right. Well, no more of that. <laughs> that was pretty funny. But yeah, I'm just annihilating stuff with this build. My gosh, I love this, and I know there's still so much room. You know, now that I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing, it's like I can see what I need and what I need to improve. Like, uh, just like I said, you know, just like these boots. Like, uh, you know, the, these same boots would be great with a little bit more lightning resistance. This belt would be better if it had gotten more life and not energy shield. So it's really fun trying to find or craft or build that, like, perfect item. And, uh, you know, on my first character, I was way too afraid to do the crafting thing, and now I'm starting to kind of get the hang of it. I mentioned this a little bit last time, but it's really a lot of fun, you know, when I go and, okay, I want this base item, a rustic sash. In fact, that's what I found. I found a rustic sash, and, you know, they go from everywhere from 12% increased physical damage to, like, 24%, and this one was 23, and I was like, you know, that's pretty close, and I really need a new belt, so maybe just maybe I'll try Orb of alchemy it and that's what happened to it. It ended up with like three different resistances and um, I try to keep my eye out on the, the two stone rings and some of the other rings that have like um, base, I guess uh, the base item that I'm trying to look for for an improvement. I have like no essences or like no essences or orbs of alchemy left because I've really been trying to get better gear. Uh, myself, right? And, uh, like I said, I have no orbs of alchemy left. I'm gonna be boned if I wanna do, uh, maps above tier 5 if I don't get more soon. But, I, I guess with enough, uh, vendoring shenanigans, I can, uh, manipulate the currency that I have into, like, orbs of fusing. And probably sell My those for spent. alchemy or whatever else you know I'm trying to still trying to learn the economy of the game too what people typically buy things for and as goofy as this sounds maybe it doesn't sound goofy because this is path of exile I've had like general and trade chat on for most of the day and I'm just kind of reading what people are saying and I'm learning a lot about like the economy and what people buy and what things go for what people are looking for but you know what's surprised me the most about um oh do oh. You're so cute when you're bewildered. You're so cute when you don't have extra eyes and claws. But, um, oh jeez. I forgot all about- I, 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 oh, oh, I forgot all about this! Ah! 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 <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I forgot all about her goofy- how can you forget? I don't know, but I did. I forgot all about her goofy spinning, so I probably want to stay a little bit more on the- her behind here. Oh, oh no, 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 
this is all bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> oh gosh. Please stop piety. Thank you. <laughs> this one's not going as well as uh, Calum and Doreso. My health kind of tanked there a couple of times. And like I said, ooh, wrong way. I haven't been using, oh gosh, how do I, I need to get, yeah, there we go. I haven't been using Earthquake as much as I probably should because I'm still getting used to using it. Like I said, I'm not even sure if I have it in the right spot because, um... My beautiful champion, I knew I could rely on you. Okay, you creepy lady. Because I have it just shoved over here with no support gems. This is like where my gems go to die, right? Um, I could, but that's the thing. Where would I, else would I put it? I could probably maybe move something around here... I don't know, not having a chest does kind of suck for, you know, some things, but I just don't really see where I could else I can work in Earthquake. It would be get, getting rid of that or trying to make this red to get all of those. So, you know, not really sure what I'm doing here with as far as this goes, if I should just drop Earthquake altogether or or what it's it's hard to figure this kind of stuff out you know especially when um, I'm not really like because at this point I guess it becomes basically math right it's like is is using this going to be higher DPS than having this right and you've got a math it at that point which this I'm thing gets more twisted with every step I take which I'm bad at doing the whole mathing numbers stuff as far as trying to figure out builds, you know? Like, I don't think I'll ever be able to make my own build and make it successful. I think anytime I'm gonna, in the future, I'm gonna be playing, I'm gonna have to look up build guides and be like, okay, what sounds cool? You know, like, I'll try to get an idea of what ability I want to use and just find a guide for it. You know, I think that's probably... Ooh, an arctic column. That's probably gonna be my best bet going forward, right? And I mean, it's a, you know, just because I can't really figure out my own builds, and I want to, you know, this has been a lot of fun, and, you know, using a build that someone else has come up with, because, you know, they, they've done all the hard mapping stuff that I can't understand, right? They've tried it out and make sure it works and stuff, right? So... You know, with my poor little elementalist witch, I you know I started playing the game and found out totems were a thing. It was like, I want to do something with totems, but I don't know what. And I ended up as a righteous fire totem witch, which is amazing, but not suitable for witch. Because, um, my, like, you know, my ascendancies are basically worthless as a witch. Using a righteous fire totem, they don't do me a whole lot of good. Um... And, that, and it's such a stark contrast to the ascendant points that I have for this character that make a massive difference. Like, the, okay, this I, I, I've got to stop and just appreciate this point, this this ability and this ability. Like this, like um, hello, look at my chance to block spells. That's ridiculous. And this, this, this that. <laughs> I did not know how much fun that was going to be. I really didn't know. Like, I was like, that's no way there's go that's going to be that good. And oh yeah, it's that Exquisite. good. Alright, I know I haven't gone and talked to Piety yet, but I'm assuming Malagaro still gives me his, his goodies. Oh yeah, the, Malagaro is, ooh, he's still a, kind of a tough cookie here, but he's definitely putting a lot less of a hurtin' on me than he did in Cruel, because, uh, Cruel I didn't have, um, when I did Cruel I also, ooh, gosh, I don't think I had my stats, uh, where they were supposed to be, but yeah, he, he tanked my health quite a bit in Cruel, and this took, ooh, a lot longer to fight. Uh-oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Take comfort, Meligado. An artist's work is always worth more when he's dead. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that, that was still a little close. I ran out of flasks there, but um, I feel like Meligaro gave me a lot more trouble and cruel than he did just now here in Merciless. Because, you know, I, well, I'm also over-leveling this quite a bit. That's probably got a, quite a bit to do with it. I'm level uh, halfway through 78. I didn't, wasn't actually expecting to get so much experience from here. I, I, I um... 
I was doing maps and I said to myself, okay, I'm going to level up one more time and then I'm going to go finish up Act 4 and just try it at level 78, just try to get it done. And gosh, I'm almost level 7, well not almost, I'm actually still closer to 78 than I am 79, but I'm half, about halfway there and I just really didn't expect to get so much experience in here. I guess I am stopping and fighting a lot of things, but you know, the whole point in this race is to get to level 85 and as much as I doubt my ability to do it, it doesn't mean I can't try. I'm going to at least make an effort, you know, I'm going to keep, even after I... Uh, defeat Malachi because I will defeat Malachi. Even after I defeat him, I'm still going to keep playing. Now, I don't think I'm going to get to 85, but I'm going to keep enjoying this build. Maybe I can get my you axe. Make such lovely material. Okay. What a gorgeous fighter! My gosh, my everyone just loves the duelists, don't they? But yeah, I can just... Ooh, alright. I can pretty much just... I think I can probably just stand here and face tank her, I bet, if I just stand here. I don't want to find out the hard way that I can't, though. That would really suck. Alright, where'd you go, Heifer? Here you are. Alright, let me remember to use Earthquake. Alright, sorry. What a gorgeous fighter! What a gorgeous fighter! You sound so crazy. Man, this is like the easiest build, too. I think this is another reason that I really like it. I like Flattery easy. Will get you nowhere with me, my lady. Like, um, when I was playing, like when I was playing yesterday, I was, I was, um, I was busy with my other, I was just playing with one hand for some reason. I don't remember why. I think I was looking at my phone or something. And I, I just right, like I did this, I just did this number and just kept right clicking into monsters. I didn't use any of my flasks or any other abilities or anything. I had my hand off the keyboard and I was just doing this number and just slowly kept walking forward for a little bit. And I, I didn't die or anything. So, you know, I like simple and this is, this is somehow more simple than my righteous fear or righteous fire. I think I've been calling it fury. Righteous fire, uh, totem witch, where you know I put put down a totem that annihilates everything. This is still somehow easier, and I'm not really sure how that happened. I think I don't have to. Ooh, nice. I guess I don't have to worry so much about uh, dying. All right, this this old hag is annoying as hell. I still don't really know the best way to fight her, honestly. Like, what part of the area I should, like, I guess it's kind of a pick your poison thing. Which one of these debuffs do you want to deal with, I guess, is basically what it comes down to. Ooh, I'm getting my, I, I think I smashed my flasks a little bit too much. I might need to, uh escape and go get some more flask charges because I uh, wasn't paying enough attention to them. Alright, we got her over here. Ooh, she's putting some hurt on me right now. I Maybe I need to... Ooh, let's run away from that. I'm going to try to regenerate some health here. There we go. <laughs> I love this build. I love being so durable. I can't... I'm, I'm addicted to this. I think from now on I'm always going to... Well, not always. Not say that, but I'm definitely going to play... I didn't catch a word of what you said, Doedri. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, I accidentally tabbed out, mm. and my recording software didn't like that, so I figured I'd just go ahead and run back to piety on my own Z's. Alright, guys, here what we a are. To finally meet you, Duelist. You and I will create the most beautiful of nightmares together. Sounds good to Let me. Let us bathe you in blood, Duelist. So that this world might be bathed in glory. All right, Malachi. All right, let's do this. Here I go, stage one of the Malachi fight on Merciless. Can I do it? Oop, I'm getting fingered by this guy. All right, this is gonna be a long fight, by the way, guys, because I think I still my DPS still has, leaves a lot to be desired. Ooh, I can almost just face tank his tentacle hentai thing there because it doesn't really do, like I it doesn't do a whole lot of damage to me can that be am I I guess am I blocking that can I can that his tentacle things be blocked I'm guessing they can be just based on the fact that they're not doing yeah see I can just stand in that and it didn't do a whole lot of damage to me it makes me think I'm blocking it maybe I don't know like uh, there's still a lot of mechanics I don't quite understand in this game and ooh okay I'm getting kind of low there let me bounce around a bit Oh, you know, I forgot my totem can... Oh, okay, cool, cool. Alright, um, 
Okay. Okay. Now exile. All right. Let now exile. Yeah. Look, I can basically stand in that without taking a lot of damage. I don't really want to risk face tanking it though. If I can move out of it, I probably should. Case in point. There. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it that time, and it gave me quite a hurt. I'm not sure if it was the fingers, though, if it was something else. There's, Yeah, okay, there's so much going on in this fight, and, like, there's still so many mechanics. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, what am I doing? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really taking a lot from his, his fingering things, that's for sure. I'm really not taking as much as I did. Like, normal, that was... Those were destroying me completely, so it makes me think I'm blocking them, I guess. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but that's what it seems like. Alright, I can't quite mouse over piety, so I'm just kind of hitting everything over in this general area. Oh man, this this is great. I love, like, but yeah, that's what I was saying before my recording went off. I think, like, my next serious character, I don't know if I'm going to do this duelist build again. But I think I definitely want to do another melee character. Oh, poor Piety. Oh, this piety. is what I get for trying to be a bloody hero, an honest death, the only redemption I was ever likely to get. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm you done know, hearing from you. <laughs> now, let us see if you truly understand what it means to be nightmare. I'm trying. Alright, help me understand, Malachi. Help me understand. Alright, th this is the, the this is the moment I've been waiting for to see if I can handle this. I remember doing this at like what's you are being selfish. I'm being a shellfish again. My spirit is spent. But I remember doing this on my poor little elementalist witch. Nightmare is the true eternal. Before I ever did any maps. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, what? I don't even remember. I have to go back and look. I think I might have been like 72 or so on my... I don't know, maybe a bit higher than that, 75? I don't remember what level... I really don't remember what level my elementalist was when I beat Malachi, but I know I basically graveyard served him. I just died over and over. I better put a portal down speaking of graveyard serving him. <laughs> I know I died over and over and over till I whittled him down. It was just a complete disgusting mess of a fight. Like, I think that fight alone, I think I died ten times or something. Probably more than that, to be perfectly honest. I actually don't remember how many times I died on my first character, but I know it was complete annihilation, so I'm I'm kind of worried about the- oop, that was an accident. I'm kind of worried about how many attempts this might take me. I've barely put a dent into his health, so this is gonna be a very, very long fight. I'm really burning through my flask charges pretty fast, too. I might need to- ooh, I might need to run back to town to get some more flask charges, as shameful as it is, creative use of game mechanics, right? But hey, when you, you need to win, you need to win, especially if you need to win without dying. Alright, waiting for that next organ to come out. I thought it would be out pretty soon. Maybe I gotta get him to half? I'm not sure what uh, intervals everything comes out at. I'm, is, uh, even though I've, Oh, there it is. As many times as I've done this fight, I'm still not like a hundred percent on it. Especially because every fight, boss fight that I did on my witch might as well honestly not even count because I just hid in a corner crying while my totems did everything <laughs> and I didn't actually get to see the fights. And that's a big reason I think I'm going to continue doing a melee character because I can actually see the fights and start to understand what the heck's going on on my witch. It's just like, I don't know what's going on. I'm standing in a corner crying, help, please send help, ow, ow. But on this character, it's like, oh, he, he's exploding or he's turning around or he's doing this thing and that thing. It's just a lot easier for me to see what's going on when I'm not standing 15 feet away from the, or, you know, two screens over or whatever, right? So, I don't know if I'll do this again. I'm really liking it, so I might. I like It's simple, it's strong, it's durable, it's like everything I've ever wanted in a build, right? And in a lot of ways, it reminds me of uh, my, si or my Whirlwind Barbarian from Diablo 3. 
where it's a uh, like really amazing AOE clear, but kind of sucky. Are being selfish. It's kind of sucky against bosses. Well, it doesn't suck. It's just um, bosses take a while, and that's kind of exactly how my Whirly Barb in uh, Diablo 3 was. Great this AOE clear, tough. really fast, but. I really had a hard time against bosses, and that's kind of the same thing, so this feels, this feels kind of natural to me to play, you know, it feels a lot like, you know, like I said, my Barbarian, so it feels a bit more natural to play, so I don't know if I'm going to do this again, and oh gosh, I just charged right into that like a total doofus, that was bad. So I don't know if I'll be playing this again in 3.0. There's a good chance that I will. I'll have to kind of keep up to date with how the uh, gems and stuff are changing if I decide to do this. But, um, you know, uh, Cyclone is another one that's supposed to be getting a lot of love. And, you know, if I liked Whirlwind, Barbarian, and Diablo 3, it seems a bit more natural that I would like Cyclone in this game. Especially if it's being uh, changed up a little bit for 3.0. I might maybe need to look up a cool Cyclone build. Hopefully someone comes up with a cool Cyclone build in the beta and uh, I can try it out if it's any, if there is one. Or one that'll be any good for uh, Oriath because I'd love to run around in circles spinning. You know, this, like I said, the only thing that, the only problem with this build is I don't spin quite as much as I would like to. And, you know, if any of you have played any game, any online game, you know you gotta spin to win, right? <laughs> okay, come on, I'm being ridiculous. But no, um, I really think, I really think Melee is definitely in the cards for me, so 3.0, I'm gonna probably do either do this again or maybe some variety of Marauder, I don't know. I got some Kajura boots, though. Alright, so that was Malachi. There he is. Bye, Malachi. Go ahead and die. Go ahead and die. Go on now. Go on. There you go. I die. It's a strange feeling when the fighting is done. <sighs> it is a strange I've feeling. I've won. I have won. The nightmare has ended. The nightmare has indeed ended. This is this is what I was going for the whole time was to defeat Malachi, and I did it with 28 deaths in a day and 10 hours. Okay, a lot. It took. I played a long time to get here, but I'm really proud of myself for not dying 200 times. <laughs> oh my gosh! I got Malachi, guys. I did it. I'm finished. I, I, this is what I set out to do. And I have finished Merciless Act 4 on my Badiator Duelist in less than a week. I can do it. It took, I spent a lot of time playing, but I did it. Dude. And then we'll talk to these two. My quests are done. Everything, everything's done now. I just have my maps, maybe... Zana will give me her daily. I haven't been able to find her in inside of any of the maps yet, and I've done quite a few. I've been pretty unlucky, but um, that was it, guys. I've done it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I, my personal goal for this uh, for this race has been met, and I think this is like the first time that I've actually done it, so I'm just really elated over here. I love this build. <laughs> I really do. So I have seven levels to earn in less than a day if I want to get to the next a chance at a reward. You have to get to 85 for the one week to get a chance at the rewards and I'm not sure if I'll get there or not. I might have a um, another video of me doing some maps with this character if I get anything good but um, I might not so I'm not sure if I'm gonna you'll see any more from this character in the events. You might see it more in the regular Legacy League. I don't know. I know I love it and I'm not gonna stop playing it. Not yet. But I just don't really know what I'm gonna do with it in regards to videos. So um, thank you guys for helping me out with you know my gems and some of my choices here you know I've I'm really happy with this build I'm really ha oh let's check out those boots I got by the way rainbow stride ooh well that seems pretty nice block chance applied to spells well that's not for me but those don't actually seem all that bad I might have to put those up for sale or something alrighty guys well my personal goal for this league is done 
Hey guys, I just got an ancient reliquary key and I know I could probably sell that to be able to afford my soul taker, but how many cool items am I going to be able to get that are one of a kind, right? So let's see. Maybe I will get a legacy bringer of rain. Let's see what I get here. Alright guys, you ready? Oh. My. God. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching me play Path of Exile. I'm so happy that I got this event done. I appreciate you all for watching and bye for now.